Welcome back once again. In this part, we will complete our update and delete functionality for our task app. In our previous tutorial, we set our custom alert dialog for our update. Now we need to add all this input field. So edit text. First, we need to add First, we need to set some variable, or we can we can we can select it. We can define it uh, globally. So private edit text title title up private edit text not up private button btn delete and private button btn update update up and delete up now we need to cast all this input field so title up is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot edd title upd not of my view dot r dot id dot edd not upd and for button delete button delete up is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot btn delete upd and button upd up is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot btn update upd And btn update iup dot set on click listener new on click listener and btn delete up dot set on click listener new on click listener now inside our btn up set on click listener we need to add two string variable make sure that we added all these required field and before that we need to dismiss our dialog so dialog dot dismiss for our button delete and for button update we also need to add dialog dot dismiss that means if user will click this button then our dialog will dismiss Now inside our button update and before that we need to select some global variable and inside our global variable we need to store our data so private string we can call it title private string note private string post key now 
now inside our view holder need to create our post key so post key get reference position this position is for our integer position and dot get key now our post key will store inside this post key so this position is from this position that that is for integer now we need to add for our title so title is equal to model dot get title and for node is equal to model dot get node Now we need to set this variable inside our edit text. So title of dot set text is going to be our title that is our global variable and we store our data inside this variable and title of dot set selection title dot length and this length this will and this selection will uh, start from at the end of our text so set up so not set not up dot set text is going to be note and for not up dot set set selection is going to be not dot length Okay, now we can run our apps. So here is our application. Now click any of these items, and now we can see our data. Data is added, but we can't delete and update. And the reason is that we did not add any functionality. So we can see when we select any of this item, we can see this item data is added inside our custom update dialog. Okay, now we need to update our dialog and need to delete our dialog. So inside our button update up, in here we need to store our. So use this global variable that we added here, title is going to be. So title is equal to title if we that is our edit text. So title if we dot get text dot twisting dot trim and node is equal to not of dot get text dot twisting dot trim. dot get text dot twisting dot trim and now we need to generate a new date so string m date is equal to date dot Date format dot get that instance dot format new date and now we need to create an object of our model class so this date will show updated when we will update our data so data data is equal to new data and make sure that we added same sequence 
of our parameter of our constructor so first one is title not date and id so first we need to add our title second parameter is not third parameter is date that is our m date and last one is id and this time our id is going to be our post key now if we open any of this data we can see this post key and now m database dot child and this time child is going to be post key dot set value set value is data so we successfully set all these required fields And for delete, we need to add our m database dot child, and child is going to be post key. Okay, we can uh, we can add it later. So if we if if we use this remove fellow directly to our database, it will delete our full database but we need to delete each child we'll we'll add it later first run this apps and check it how our update is work so here is our application now if we click any of this item and okay let's okay let uh let uh, change this title we can we can choose it put and add node we can call it i need i need to buy i need to buy some food and rest of the stuff we need to remove so remove this Now click this update button. Now we can see our date, our title and our note is updated. Okay, try to update in this one. We can call it shopping. I need to buy I need to buy some shirt so we can call it i need to buy some shirt okay let's update this ios f i can call it ios developer and at note we can call it ios ios f developer need and update now we can see our date is update and we can see our today date is 10 september so our all this functionality updated now we need to work with our delete functionality so inside our button delete we need to add our database name so m database dot child and our child is our post key and then we need to add remove hello this way we will remove is child that is our post key okay now run this apps again now if we click any of the delete item now we can see our item is deleted and click deleted and deleted and if you click this one so our all this functionality is complete so 
we learned how can we insert our how can we insert our data to our firebase database how can we retrieve how can we update and how can we delete and how can we work with firebase authentication system so it's a project that you can upload to your google play store account so all this functionality done so we are successfully completed this project